you get to 2006, your last uh, tournament with England, a problem now for Gareth Southgate is talk of injuries to Rashford and, and Harry Kane. Obviously, Rooney had an injury, I think, very late in the season, metatarsal. Yeah. Do you actually look back and, with more experience of that, would you, do you think it's still the right thing to do to take injured players, or do you think it actually didn't work for England? Well, Not it, just with him, obviously, I think David Beckham, I think in 2002 also. Yes, but if you give me a very good alternative, I might think... Uh, different but when you go to a big tournament and this is 2006 if Rooney has a small chance to play you have to pick him mm. like Beckham 2002 I think yeah. it was. you cannot uh, keep them out because we had a lot of good football players but we don't have that good you don't have a second Rooney mm. So you had to take the risk with him. We had Owen, who had been struggling with injury as well, I think. Yes, the tournament. exactly. You had Peter Crouch. Yes. So you had two questionable fitness concerns. Peter Crouch and your fourth striker was famously Theo Walcott. Theo Walcott, yeah. And he should have played, but at the end, the last game, we got Rooney sent off and then it's not time to put in uh, another striker. Do you stick by that decision all these years on to take Theo? Uh, Alternative was uh, Defoe. Oh. Defoe. What was the? Th I mean, I was. He in was the not. Squad. He was not regular at that time. Well, I was. His. I was. In, I was. I was in the in the squad. But there's no doubt in the squad when the squad gets picked, players talk about who's in the squad, who's missed out. It was a big surprise Theo Walcott was in it because he hadn't played for Arsenal. Was a lot of that maybe your your conversations with Arsene Wenger because you you hadn't you couldn't have seen him play too much. Not too all. much. We, we went to see him, but not too much. And talks with uh, Wenger, yes, of course. But also, you know, if you don't have a clear one, why don't take a young, talented one for the future? Because the player picked as number 23 will not win the World Cup for you, for sure. Mm. Now, we were unlucky. Because of Rooney, well, sent off. History tells us, Sven, that Jimmy Greaves was England's top striker in '66, <laughs> and then Jeff Hurst <laughs> came along very late in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. But, <laughs> but I, I, I don't think we had anyone who could go in and score three goals. Maybe Jermaine Defoe. Well, <laughs> well, going back to actually Rooney with the injury, how how tough a fight was that for you to actually get him to the World Cup? Because obviously Manchester United, he's their superstar player. They want to get him ready for next season. Was that always a problem for you between club and country? Yeah, it was a big problem between uh, Sir Alex and myself. He didn't want to, to release him for England, but uh, it became a question by doctors as well. Manchester United doctor and England doctor. And at the end, uh, the England doctor, he's a specialist of this kind of injury. He's operating hundreds every year. So we got insurance that he can play, maybe not the first game, but he can play. Then his condition is another thing. But he would be able to play without any risk. And we had the independent uh, doctors as well there to, to check everything every day. So it was, it was not a very good solution, but anyhow, he was there.